Hello everyone, this is the second of two videos in my submission for the Texas Instruments UT Dallas competition on hackster.io, which is at ti.com slash DIY. This video is going to show you the robot solving this line maze once from an easy starting spot and once from a hard starting spot. And both times I'm going to show you that it can remember the shortest path to solve the maze as long as you put it back where you first put it. And that it doesn't have to go through the entire maze to solve it once again after it has solved it once. So the robot has already been programmed, and I'm just going to put it at the easy starting spot here and turn it on. And I'm going to press the left button to tell it that the maze that it's about to solve is a new maze. This robot is left hand biased, so it always takes the leftmost path that it possibly can and it has now found the treasure. And that was it solving the maze from an easy starting spot. Now let's show you that it remembers the shortest path to get back to the treasure from the same starting spot. So now I'm going to press the right button to tell it to show us the shortest path. You can see it skipped the left intersection, and it has found the treasure again. So now I'm going to show it solving the maze from a hard starting spot. Starting here in the middle of the maze is not generally a place you would expect a robot to be, so a lot of people don't think about this when they are designing maze algorithms, but it is able to solve the maze from the middle of it. And placing it here, it goes across every line. So I'm going to press the left button to tell it that it's solving a new maze. You can see when it hits something that it backs up and then turns around, and it has no issues dealing with a four-way intersection. From that starting spot in the maze, it does go over every line in the maze, and as you can see, it did find the treasure. And now I'm going to put it back in the middle of the maze, and I'm going to press the right button so it shows us the shortest path to get back to the treasure. As you can see, it remembered the shortest path, which starting from here, facing this way, was to turn around and then go right over here. The reason it does have to go forward, if you notice that before it turned around, is because if I place it here, and it just turns around, it just spins. The line sensor will be here, which is past this T intersection. And it needs to be able to see the intersection to know to turn at it. If it doesn't know the intersection exists, it can't turn there. So it moves forward a little bit and then turns around. If you start it in the middle of the maze and it needs to turn around. So that is what the robot is capable of doing and what I have programmed it to do. Uh, the project is available at ti.com slash DIY. And if you're interested in watching more on this robot instead of reading, you can also watch the first video of these two videos to see more about the robot and hear more about the robot in more detail.